Welcome to Assembly Calendar. I'm your host today, Val Pettigrass. With me, representing the 99th Assembly District, which includes Putnam, Dutchess, and Westchester Counties, is Assemblyman Greg Ball. It's great to have you Pleasure here. Pleasure to be here. How are you? I'm very good. And I'm going to be much better because we are going to be talking about an issue that fires people up on both sides. Right. It's a very important issue. And that is illegal immigration. And, of course, we just dealt with uh, driver's licenses being issued to illegals that uh, Governor Spitzer had proposed and then soon after withdrew because of, of uh, complaints from the public. Sure. You know, and a lot of people... Albany is certainly uh, still dysfunctional. That hasn't changed. Uh, news flash on that. Uh, but at the end of the day, <clears throat> we are in a minority here in the New York State Assembly. I think in the, the driver's license issue has absolutely proven why it's important to not necessarily ha have a minority, but why it's so important to have a boisterous, effective uh, minority that can communicate uh, the message or, or the opinion sometimes of, of the electorate and the majority. And that's exactly what happened in this instance. And just recently, Assembly Republicans held a press conference, and Assemblyman Greg Ball is going to explain to you the difference between uh, being here legally and not. We'll be back with more Assembly Calendar. I just would like to clarify one thing. It seems that the media likes to say illegal immigrant. The difference between an illegal immigrant uh, and, a, and an, an illegal alien uh, and an immigrant is the difference between a burglar and a house guest. New York State has the second highest population of illegal aliens in the United States of America. Not Arizona, not Texas. And what this governor is effectively doing, and you should take a look at the presidential election right now, what this governor is effectively doing is creating a sanctuary state. In my district, we had a local mayor who decided that he was going to work with the Guatemalan consulate to hand out blue cards. Sir, you asked about uh, uh, as far as the Social Security number. This governor had said that in, instead of a Social Security number, he would accept the foreign identification cards of foreign governments. Let's forget Guatemala and Mexico and Nicaragua for one second. We're going to accept from illegal aliens from their country, foreign country, from Iran, let's just say an illegal alien from Iran, that foreign government's ID card and accept it here in New York State as, as proof of that individual's criminal history and background? Are we going to begin to outsource our homeland security to countries like Nicaragua, to countries like Iran, Tehran, and other countries? That's the fundamental reality here. That's what this governor wants to do. Uh, there are two issues. There's the illegal immigration issue and there's the homeland security issue. 19 terrorists had over 300 forms of identification. Hillary Clinton and Chuck Schumer, as I understand it, both voted for the Real ID Act. The Real ID Act came into place because the 9-11 Commission said that we have a huge loophole allowing terrorists to come and hurt us. This is not only about the one million illegal aliens that live in the state of New York. It's the terrorists that hide in their mess. And if this governor gets this wrong, people are possibly going to die. And if that happens, the blood will be on his hands. This is all about security. People like talking about the illegal immigration issue. We have to remember this is a post-9-11 environment. This is creating a huge loophole, not only for illegal aliens and sanctuary state for illegal aliens, but for terrorists. And that's the problem here. And the blue cards, if you look at the matricular cards from Mexico or the blue cards from Guatemala, they, they, leader, just give me one second, because this, this is my issue. You got uh, it. You know, I'm, I'm a little uh, passionate about it, but the reality is, is that they shield their criminal history. The Border Patrol will tell you, and the FBI called that a national security nightmare. The spokesperson for the FBI can get you the information. Called these blue cards and the matricular cards a national security nightmare. The U.S. Border Patrol reports that 10 percent of those coming across our border have a U.S. criminal history. Forget about a criminal history from Iran, Mexico, Nicaragua. 10% have a U.S. criminal history. And you were one of the leaders out on this issue long before it came to the forefront here in New York State. Because we were hearing a lot about this on the federal level uh, over the summertime. Right. But you've been talking about this all along and have identified yourself with this issue. Well, Val, uh, you know, during the campaign when I ran for New York State Assembly, some of the media said, Greg, you know, why is Greg Ball talking about illegal immigration? It's a federal issue. It's not a state issue. I said, it is. Uh, the federal government has failed us, and, and that's why I wanted to work as a state assemblyman, work with the local municipalities to find innovative solutions to crack down on illegal immigration. And that's exactly what I've done. This driver's license issue has been popping its ugly head up state after state after state. The problem with it popping and rearing its ugly head up in the state of New York is that outside of Jerusalem, 
We are the second largest terrorist target in the world. And when I talk to people, you know, I, I went to school at the United States Air Force Academy. I'm, I'm finishing uh, my thesis right now at Georgetown University uh, in international affairs. I'm actually looking for somebody, $10 a page if you know anybody, um, <laughs> fin finishing that up. Um, but when you talk to the best minds in this country and you ask them, uh, you know, it, it's a question of not if, but when. And that's a very scary thought because, you know, after 9-11, we lost a few buildings. We lost 3,000 people. Nineteen guys with box cutters changed our global history. And that's the fundamental reality of the post-9-11 environment. Unfortunately, we have a president who has a hard time communicating his way out of a wet paper bag. So the Congress has moved so far in the opposite direction, and our nation's left without leadership. In New York State, that means that we are not secure. And for this governor to do what he did, I, I, I tell everybody, I say, you know, this governor, because I stood up with the governor, and you know that, early in the year. I was looking forward to having a strong governor who would come in here, uh, hit hard uh, against Sheldon Silver and others to reform Albany, campaign finance reform, school tax reform. He, he's been a kamikaze pilot on, on uh, without cruise control. The guy's gone in a downward spiral as fast as he possibly can. Uh, and this issue, while everybody liked to talk about illegal immigration, that's how they sell papers, it was all about security. Because sure, we have one million illegal aliens in the state of New York, second highest population uh, in the United States of America. But it only took 19 guys with box cutters. So I'm not as worried, and I am worried, about the one million illegal aliens in the state of New York. But I'm worried about the 12, 20, 30 you know, guys that are, that are in sleeper cells right now from Iran and otherwise. And uh, that's why this, the, the blue card issue, accepting the national security documents of foreign countries uh, as an indicator to provide a New York State driver's license, that was a really scary thought. And I'm glad that we killed it. Well, you know, right now we're going to take a look